Babe, are you good? You're leaving again? Yes, I gotta go to work. Is this about another woman? I mean, we barely see you. The kids and I barely spend time with you. You're so distant. Babe, no. I'm not going with another woman. Look, I just have a lot on my mind. Yeah, whatever. You know what? Whoever she is, I hope she's worth it. <sighs> Look, we can talk about this tonight. Are you going somewhere? Yes, away from here. I can't take it anymore. What do you mean? I know it's another woman. You've been acting different lately. See, you can't even look me in the eye when I talk to you anymore. Me and our children do not deserve this. I'll get it. It's probably my taxi. Honey, that is my- Ma'am, I'm his doctor. Doctor? What are you doing here? Do you mind if I discuss your medical matters in front of your wife? No, I don't mind. What's going on? I'm dying. He has colon cancer, and it's beginning to spread all over his body. I'm here to make sure he seeks immediate attention. Why didn't you tell me this, honey? I didn't want to bother you. I've been uh, fighting this all alone. I am not cheating on you. I've been fighting this so hard because I want I wanted to be a great husband and father like you need me to be. I was so scared you were gonna leave me. Leave you? I'm so sorry. I was too selfish to see the signs. When I married you, I vowed to love you through sickness and in health. That I would never leave you. I'm going to fight and stand with you all of our lives. You don't ever have to fight this alone, as long as I'm here with you. We're gonna do this together, okay? <laughs> the moral of the story is, when your partner is acting odd, it's not always about cheating. It's your job to figure out what's wrong with them. In relationships, we all face our own personal problems that we don't bring to our partner. Always choose to be kind to them. Love each other, support each other, and be there for one another. <laughs>